Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to this episode of the Tuesday Tirade series. And originally this was going to be like, I don't know, I was thinking about doing one on autocorrect, because my phone's autocorrect is beyond stupid. There was something else I was thinking about doing it on, but I can't remember it, so not happening. Sorry guys. But uh, when I woke up, well, when I got home this morning, I saw that Tyrone Magnus had put up a new video. And if you don't know who Tyrone Magnus is, not really a big deal. I mean, he's a YouTuber, he does react videos. He's the only one I actually watch who does them. But apparently this guy, Grade A Under A, has been saying he has dirt on him and basically bad-mouthing reaction channels in general. <clears throat> and let me just say that, again, I only watch one reaction channel. That's it. But there is a defense to these channels. And I don't know if people quite realize this, and it seems kind of blatantly obvious, but maybe you don't. But, okay, this video, for instance, okay, I have 43 subscribers, and my guess is about 40 of them are dead subscribers, meaning they don't really watch my videos, they don't really care, and that's fine, you know, I've been on YouTube for a while, and there was a big chunk of time where I wasn't really uploading videos regularly. So obviously subscribers drop off, I do have videos on a lot of different topics, so realistically it would happen. But if this video got reacted by like a Tyrone Magnus for instance, because I was on his channel watching the video and I looked at his subscriber count, and it's like 663,000. So you figure if he reacts to this video, all those people are going to come over here, not all of them, but... A few of them might because they're like, oh, well, this guy likes Tyrone Magnus. This guy reacted, well, didn't react, but Tyrone Magnus reacted to him. So let's check out his content. <clears throat> not saying they will. I'm not saying Tyrone Magnus will even know this video exists. And odds are he won't. But the point of the matter is that what, reacting, what reaction channels do is they bring attention to other videos. And that's one of the key reasons why I subscribe to Tyrone Magnus. Because even if I don't necessarily like all the content he posts, there are so many things in there that if I watch one of the videos, I can see other channels to subscribe to. For instance, I want to say the channel's name is Vidgeo, and he did a reaction video to, well, Tyrone Magnus did a reaction video of his video of Unfriended by Randy Orton. And I mention this because it was hilarious. And it wasn't so much his reactions, it was the actual content of the video. So what I did was I went and I subscribed. And I'm sure a lot of people do this kind of thing. We see the video, we, we see the reaction video, and we go, wow, look at this channel. This channel is unique. It is different in this way. And so we go and we watch that channel. A reaction video, while it might not be completely fair use, and I'm really not sure, I've never been too good on that kind of thing, but... It technically should be fair use because if I can sit here and record a game and just talk over it and be like okay well this game's cool blah 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 wouldn't that kind of be the same concept in a weird kind of odd turned around way I mean realistically so much of YouTube is reaction it's just reaction to something that you had more time to think about like this video Okay, I know it doesn't have, you know, a Tyrone Magnus or a Grade A Under A video attached to it. But I'm reacting to what's going on in their situation. So wouldn't that make it a reaction video? If I had a bunch of subs, wouldn't they go to try to investigate, see what's going on? It's kind of a reaction video. If you're reviewing something, you're kind of reacting to it after the fact. <clears throat> now, I do a kind of agree with Grade A Under A. Because sometimes, and this isn't a, a jab at Tyrone, but sometimes you watch one of the videos and there isn't very much reacting going on. And, and that says things in its own way. Because, for instance, say he's watching this video, and, and again, hypothetical, but if he is, he might be quiet because he's listening to my points. He's trying to hear what I have to say. Or it could be the opposite end of the spectrum, and it could be, well, geesh, this video sucks. Why would I waste any time talking? Why would I react? This isn't... Realistically, this video isn't funny. He can't laugh about this video. It's not going to make him cry. 
I'm not going to make him angry. It's just a video. So not reacting is in itself a reaction. Just like like the color white. It is a color, even though it's, well, I think it's black, isn't it? One of them is the absence of color. So it's like, even though it has no color, it is color. Everything in life is like that. There's always an opposite end. Like, for instance, this tea bottle. It, 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 it's empty. But there's still a term for that. I don't even remember why I started talking about this. Oh. But it being empty is still a thing. By not reacting to the videos very much, you are, in essence, reacting to the videos. Because you should be reacting. Whenever you do something, you're reacting. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Yes, I'm breaking out Newton. Freaking Newton for this crap. I want to say it's Newton, right? One of his three laws. One of his first three. I think there's more, but... Regardless, if I was to sit here and watch a video and not react, that means I'm probably sitting here going, God, this video isn't over. That is a reaction. It's a boring reaction, but it is a reaction. It was quiet going, well, this is an interesting point. That is a reaction, too. Reaction videos, regardless, are reactions. And Grade A kind of made that point. Because in his video, I think it's like four YouTube, uh, five YouTube channels anybody could have made. He points out that really, you don't always have to react. And that kind of makes sense. Because people work better in different scenarios. Okay, right now, I do not have a script. There's there's nothing sitting here. There's there's nothing on my table. Nothing for me to read. Okay, but if there was, the entire content of the video would be different because I'd be sitting here reading off a script that would have had pre-thought, pre-typed everything. And you know, I do that sometimes. I think I personally work a little better like that. So that's why I started doing the Tuesday tirade videos because having the lack of it should help me improve in not needing the script. Granted, I'm rambling, yes. This video is probably pretty boring, yes. But it kind of proves my point that to do a reaction channel, yeah, you are kind of watching the video in the, well, I think it, because it flips it. You are kind of watching the video in the corner and that's all fine. But you're also peeking up every once in a while to see what I'm doing over here going, ha 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 ha. So it's not something anybody can do. Yeah, a lazy reaction channel you could do, but if you go on Tyrone's channel, he uploads a lot. Like legitimately, that's one of my problems with him. I, not that it's a problem, but he uploads so much that my subscription box becomes overran with his videos. And that's one of the reasons I actually subscribe to him, but at the same point, it's like there's so many videos of his that I won't watch. Point being, he does stuff. It's not like he uploads one reaction video a week and all he's doing in the entire video is going, no, yeah, that's, that's true. There are videos he does where he does that. Not to that level, but where he doesn't react that much. But the reason we subscribe to Tyrone Magnus is different. Yeah, a lot of people will subscribe to see that video in the corner. And that's fine. But people will subscribe because you are learning about him as an individual. You learn things. I know things about his mother. Things probably his friends might not know. You know, it's something you learn. You learn about his opinions on wrestlers. You learn things about the guy. Because regardless, the guy is charismatic. So, while I do kind of agree with Grade A's point that anybody could do that, the level of success Tyrone has doing it proves that he's not just some random guy off the street doing it. He deserves the success he has. And granted... You know, I don't know what Tyrone did. And, you know, I don't really care, to be honest. Because when, for instance, when you watch wrestling, okay, you know that there are people there who are wrestling that you like who are just dicks. It's just like music. I like Kanye West. I do, a lot. He's a good musician. But I know he's a dick. He knows he's a dick. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop liking his music. If Tyrone did do something wrong, I don't care. Because the videos going up are still entertaining. And that's the goal. To be entertaining. And he succeeds. Just like Grade A Under A in his own way succeeds too. His videos are entertaining. But, I just want to say <clears throat> that 
this beef shouldn't be a thing. And I'm not going to say it in the reason Tyrone keeps saying that, oh, well, we should have handled it like men. No, it, it shouldn't have been a thing at all anyway. Because there are thousands, well, there's, realistically, there's millions of subscribers out there that I don't like. And I have reasons to not like them. But you know what you do in that situation? You don't do anything. Because just like on a reaction channel, not reacting is reacting. If you don't do anything to their channel, you are not adding attention to their channel. Their channel is going to sink or swim on its own. You got to focus on your channel. You have to do you, not other people. Granted, he has success doing that. But at the same point, not anybody could. Because regardless of what your YouTube channel is and what you're doing, you're doing something right if you are gaining subscribers. You are. But uh, at this point, I've rambled enough. If you've enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, you all know the drill. But more importantly, don't start shit on YouTube. It doesn't work. It really doesn't. Every channel, no matter what it's doing, is serving a purpose. Most channels have audiences, and their videos play to that audience. That's the point of YouTube. To find a niche little audience and make them happy. Find a community who enjoys the same things you do. Not to be a dick. And I'm not saying grade A is. I'm just saying in general, don't be a dick. I know a lot of people do on YouTube, but you don't have to. But yeah, I've, I've, I've went long enough. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Because that's what you're supposed to do. If you don't like the video, dislike it. Or don't react to it at all and just leave the video. But anyway, peace out, I'm skeletons.